Well, I was not expecting this today. We have our first official trailer for Miss Marvel, which is another MCU series coming to Disney+, Plus, as well as the release date, which is June 8th, which means, yeah, it will be airing side by side with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Should be interesting. Now, Miss Marvel, I actually really like this character. Cause I know her, yeah, from those Marvel Rising specials, but mostly I know her from that Avengers game that came out a couple years ago. Yeah, I played it. I thought the game was all right, but her in particular, she's like the main character of that game and she's a great character. I really latched onto her there. So I'm excited to see her come to live action. So we have Kamala Khan, right? She's being played by Iman Vellani, who is a newcomer to the acting world. She's in high school. She's obsessed with superheroes, Captain Marvel in particular. So that's accurate. And I like how this trailer starts off with that kind of comic styling, the weird aspect ratio and the effects coming on screen. That's really unique. I'm wondering if the show is actually going to do that or if it's just for this trailer. Cause I imagine the show doing that too much will probably get annoying after a while. So I don't know. It looks cool here though. Also accurate to the lore is the fact that she lives in Jersey City, New Jersey, which brings this to mind. You know what else recently took place in the MCU in New Jersey? WandaVision. Yeah, Westview is in New Jersey. I can't help but think that that's not a coincidence because we know Monica Rambo was in that show. She's going to be in the Marvels, which Miss Marvel is also going to be in. I can't help but think that that's all somehow going to be tied together by the New Jersey of it all. It's just a theory of mine though. We'll see how it goes. But the thing that everyone's talking about from this trailer is the fact that, yeah, her powers are quite different than they are in the lore. Now in the comics, and yes, I actually did read some of those Miss Marvel comics from 2014. I know it's shocking because I usually don't read comics, but I read that a couple years ago because the Avengers game in inspired me to learn more about the character. So in the comics, Miss Marvel is actually an Inhuman. If you remember the Inhumans they showed up in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season two, that Terrigen Miss, it takes them over and it gives them superpowers and they're Inhumans. So that's what Miss Marvel is in most lore. And her powers are pretty much the same as Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four or Elastigirl from The Incredibles. She can stretch really far, grow really big. That's cool and it made her really fun to play as in the Avengers game. But here in this trailer, we see that that's just not the case this time around. First off, I get that, yeah, they can't do the Inhuman thing, since that's kind of a gray area with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, oh, is that canon? Is it not? Does it matter? But here it looks like she gets her powers from these bracelet things, because we see it glowing, and then her eyes start glowing, and then it's like, oh shit, what the hell's going on? I have powers now. So, all right, that changes her origin story a bit. But of course, the biggest thing here is that her powers yeah, they're just not the same. Instead of stretching really far, she can now like project cosmic energy. She can make objects out of this cosmic energy. She's pretty much Green Lantern if you think about it. Instead of a ring, she has bracelets and she can create objects out of matter, out of cosmic energy, which I'm not gonna lie, that is gonna take me some getting used to because that's just not at all like what I know. And of course, hardcore fans took to Twitter and they voiced their hate. They're like, this is bullshit. That's not her powers. How dare you? And honestly, I get it. In fact, there is a small part of me that kind of wants to join them and be like, yeah, that's just not the same. I hate it, but really I don't hate it. Look, I imagine there must be a reason for this change since the folks at Marvel Studios, you know, they're smart people. I'm sure they know that they will get some backlash for this switch up. I can actually think of a couple of reasons why they did this. First of all, the Fantastic Four are in fact coming to the MCU. So I imagine they didn't want Miss Marvel and Mr. Fantastic to have the same powers. I guess that would make them too similar. I don't know. That must be important for some reason. But also the fact that Miss Marvel is going to be in the Marvels next year. So she's going to be teaming up with Monica Rambeau and Captain Marvel, who both have these kind of cosmic space powers. So I'm guessing they wanted Miss Marvel's powers to align more with that. Cause let's be honest, that team up is gonna be badass. So I guess it makes sense. Still won't keep hardcore fans from bitching about it though. That's something you can never stop. And we get little hints of her outfit here in this trailer. We don't really get a good shot of her in the suit, although we have seen it in set photos. And yeah, that does look exactly like Miss Marvel. And I like how it looks, it looks good. I am wondering since we have like all these new younger characters coming to the MCU, Miss Marvel, Kate Bishop, could we be building towards some young Avengers or another? I don't know but I do think that'd be cool. And I love how this trailer ends with that iconic shot that is ripped right from the comics. That's great. That's some good fan service right there, I think. Cause fans know that shot from the comics. And not only is it recreated at the end of this trailer, but it's also what serves as the teaser poster for this show. I love that. So in the end, Miss Marvel? Yeah, of course I'm looking forward to it. Cause again, I love the character. Yeah, sure, her powers are different, but I'll remind you, just because something is not accurate to its source material, that doesn't automatically make it bad. Jurassic Park? 
Coraline, you get it. So I'm open to this change. Besides, everything else about the show does seem to be accurate to the lore. The only thing that's different is her powers, although powers are a pretty big part of what makes a superhero a superhero. So I get the outrage, I'm just not joining it. I'd rather be optimistic about it. So, the official trailer for Miss Marvel. Have you watched it yet? What do you think about it? And how do you feel about the power change? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And of course, Thank you for subscribing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm at Batman Arkham Origins now in my Arkham playthrough. And actually, I haven't played that one in like five years. Yeah, it's been a while, so it should be interesting to revisit. Peace!